Hey, how you doing? Dirty back with you once again. Here, let's play of Stellaris with Star Trek New Horizons mod playing as our favorite Spider Race, the Tholians. Glad to have you back as uh, we continue to expand into the universe. So, uh, let's take a look at our ranking here. So, Bajoran superior, Cadians equivalent, Cardassians overwhelming. We need to catch up. That's that's for sure. We need to get our our fleet strength up there. So that's. It's got to be focused. Uh, so how do we do that? We got to get our military industrial base down. We got to be pulling in those sweet, sweet minerals every month, as many as we can. So let's check out our planets now. Tholia Prime. Tholia Prime. Let's see. What do we have on the go here? How's food? Food's at three. We, so we do have some extra food. Uh, we could be doing some more society research. What do we need, though? We need minerals. So we're going to plop down a mine here, even though this guy's going to be unemployed for a while. Fargus Prime. Fragus Prime, we can upgrade some stuff. Uh, and how's food here? Food's at one. Okay. Uh, so we'll upgrade this power plant. Yeah, we just built the administration building here. Um, so we're going to want to build upgrade this hydroponics farm. That's going to give us an extra food. We don't want to build anything else in this tall yet. I want to give ourselves a, a fighting chance at least to uh, grow our population. Uh, probably going to want to clear off this tile at some point as well. Uh, let's check into our other planets while we're waiting for uh, things to happen, our minerals to build up and whatnot. Uh, of course, we are over our fleet limit, so that's costing us 4% extra. And, of course, every percentage point is a fight right now for us. Zero food right now, so after this guy comes in, we're going to be out of food. So what are we doing about that? Our ship shelter is getting upgraded. That's going to help us out. Okay. So we won't panic about that planet yet. Irani Prime. Food's at minus one. Okay, so that is an issue. What are we going to do? We're going to clear off this uh, Vorn Skier tile. Yes, I know Vorn Skiers are a Star Wars thing, but uh, I like call them Vorn Skiers. Uh, so let's clear this off. Uh, so we need what to clear this? 141 minerals. So that's going to be our goal for this planet planet to clear off this tile actually do we have one two three four five we do have five pops right now so we could in fact upgrade our ship shelter what do we need that for that i think we need 350 minerals is that worth it that's basically a year's worth of mineral production for us um i think it's better for us at this point to clear this off and then move that guy up there that's it's going to be planned for there. Ejac Prime. How are we doing for food? Food's at zero right now. Uh, there's no other food on this planet. So we are going to have to build ourselves. Well, there is a little bit of food in this tile. But we're going to need to build ourselves a hydroponics farm somewhere. We need to feed our guys. So uh, 142. Okay, so we can clear this tile. That's going to take a while. And, of course, that kind of clears out our mineral reserves for a while. How's research going for us? We have 124 months until we can have a uh, holographic doctor, apparently. Very handsome fellow there. Uh, okay. Uh, gene mapping, 21 months. And 73 months till we have actual photon torpedoes. That's going to be an exciting time. So again, let's take a quick look at our uh, buildings here. So yeah, we're two food here right now we want minerals let's build ourselves another mining network right there that's going to clear out our mineral reserves again but that's what we need we need to be able to uh, pump out ships we need to pump them out fast and quick otherwise we're going to get left behind and we don't want to be get left behind so you know cardassians i kind of fear i mean they start out with was it four planets for Cardassia, yes. Uh, or Cardassia, let's take a look. At, they have, I believe, four planets in their home system. Yeah, so they, they do have a bit of an advantage over us. We've had to reach out to other systems to expand. And, of course, we had this entire thing where I had uh, a nice little mining operation set up here. And, uh, of course, the pirate base decided to spawn there. And it wasn't a good time for about four episodes. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad, actually. Uh well, this actually lies within our space now, so we can send our construction ship back 
and finally start building these mining stations again. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be able to pull in an extra six minerals out of this system. That's going to put us up to 40 minerals a month. Again, not super impressive, but better than nothing. I still wish there was a neutral party that would trade with us at this point. You know, I'd trade with the Bajorans if they were up for it. You know, uh, I'll compliment your groovy little earring. Would you like some energy credits? I have minerals. Minus a thousand. Not happening. Uh, and we're, in fact, uh, maxed out with our energy production right now. So, I don't know. Do we have any edicts? We still have production targets enabled. So, we're doing 20... 15 there, 12 there, 6 there, 1 there, and 0 0.9 there. So our, our planetary surfaces aren't uh, really rolling in the uh, mineral production right now, so we'll have to try to do something about that. Okay, so we will have enough to get this construction ship to go to this planet as well. So he should have a couple of orders right now, I believe. Uh, he's moving down, so that's going to take him a little while to get down into uh, range here. Uh, we're good for energy credits for a while, so we, we won't have to worry about that. Uh, so we have 56 minerals right now. Surface here. Uh, yeah, so we need food. We can clear off this. Actually, yeah, I missed out on this tile. There's two food right here. So we're definitely going to want to clear this tile. And where was that other tile that I cleared off? Right there, so... Take off the physics research, more minerals, a little bit of food. Um, so that puts us at zero. We still won't have any growth for a while. So I think our next step right now to grow this planet would be to clear this tile. Move maybe this guy over here. Oh, no, the planet is growing all the same. Okay. Um, so we need like 141 to clear this. Like, we're nickel and diamond right now, but this is what we have to do. We've, we've spent, unfortunately, we spent a lot of resources just trying to get those pirates cleared out. That was, that was a handful. It's, uh, I'd never had that much trouble with the pirates in previous Solaris games, so. But, uh, anyway, that's the live and learn, I guess. Um, everyone's still superior or equivalent. Okay, so we're, we're not doing too bad. I, I mean, it, we can catch up at least. Uh, and of course, we are playing with the regular mod, so I mean, these guys should have the same system limit as we do, so they shouldn't grow too fast. These are Katari Katians, right. I want to call them Katarians for some reason, but they're not. They're not at all. Nine months? You know what? If we could splice our genes to remove the decadent um, trait... That might be great. What's our population like right now? Tholians, we have 38. You know, if we remove the... Uh, let's take a look at ourselves here. Um, yeah, we got to go under species right here. So we are decadent. So resource output with uh, without slaves, minus 10%. So we were, you know, we're facing a little bit of a uh, uphill battle due to that. Uh, Cardassians should be decadent too, or at least they were in the last version. Governor's leveled up. Let's see if they're still... Yeah, they're still decadent. Uh, they're still communal. They're still industrious. See, they have industrious to kind of offset this. So that's kind of an advantage on their end. Uh, we have a demon preference. Ethics divergence, Dan for us, and our leaders last a long time. Okay, uh, so we're back up to 160 minerals. Uh, again going to need to clear off this tile here for the food. Um, that tile has been cleared. Okay. Let's move. We're okay for energy right now. Let's move this guy over here. It puts us at food one. When this guy comes in, it's going to be food zero. Uh, I'm definitely interested in these three minerals in this particular tile. Uh, this construction ship, he's going to have one more mining station that he can build in this system. We're up to 37 minerals a month now. We're climbing up, but it's again, it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle. We're just starting to really, really build our industrial base now. We had to, we had to get our ship numbers up to. And actually, why aren't we in orbit? That is probably costing us a little bit of minerals. Actually, ship maintenance 3.08. What happens when we go home? That should help as well. 
Okay. You got to watch for that stuff. Like that, those little things can uh, throw you behind. Looks like they threw up an up uh, frontier outpost up here. Uh, that's something we should think about doing too. Especially, you know, there's four minerals in this system. There's a whole bunch of society up here. Uh, six minerals over here. That might be a tasty target as well. All right, so let's double check on our, check on our planets again. We won't worry about a society building upgrade at this point. Food is an issue here, right? Yes. So we will upgrade our hydroponics facility. Um, so we're doing one mineral here. We could do one mineral and one food if we clear off this tile. So let's do that next. I feel like I, I'm, I'm having to do a little bit more nitty gritty with the um, with the planetary management. And you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, it's uh, I stepped up to hard mode and I have to step up my gameplay to make this work. So I'm up for the challenge. Oh, of course, our fleet, they're getting repaired right now, too. So that's going to eat into our mineral reserves for a while. Like I said, fighting those pirates um, really, really put us behind. And I don't know if, I don't think the AI has to contend with that. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure if, like, because you do see other pirate fleets kind of out and about in different systems, but I don't know if the AI gets harassed uh, like the uh, the player. Uh, okay. So 43 minerals. Uh, we're at 84%. This guy's still only at level 1. That's, uh, that's okay, I suppose. Even though he's seen a lot of combat, actually. Lifespan plus 10 years, okay. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't the uh, genetic manipulation. Why did I think that was the genetic ma manipulation? What's the starport do? Maintenance is 10 minerals, produces 10 energy. If I had the opposite of that, that would be fantabulous. Border range plus 15%. I think we have to go for that right now. So what did we just finish? Leader lifespan plus 10%. Yeah, yeah, we haven't done. It's. I think it's come up a few times. Uh, Tholians. Oh, we can do. We can actually do the modification. So if we remove this, and if we do it on all of our population, we're producing nine a month. How long would it take us? Okay, what planet is producing the most minerals right now? I may consider this. Looks like it's probably Tholia. Uh, 15, 12, 6, 5. Okay, so Tholia is kind of our, our main thing right now. And you know what? If we then make sure all of the rest of our colonists come from Tholia, we're going to have a little bit of a better time because they won't have that negative trait. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's do this. Uh, but what are we researching right now? Because that could be valuable. We'll wait till the ex extended border range is done. Because I think we, we could grab a couple of extra systems if we had that. Uh, is our fleet actually repaired yet? And what's our ship maintenance now, too? So we, we've gained a single resource, by, or gained a single mineral by making sure that these guys were home. Um, Cadians, would you guys be up for a trade? We've tried this before, but I'll try again. No. Why don't they like us? Unfriendly attitude. It's too bad about you. Uh, the Cardassians dislike us the least, but um, I'm kind of scared of them. Maybe I should try to form some sort of defensive pact. Would they be up for that? Self-preservation mode right now. Communicate. For Cardassia. I miss playing the Cardassians sometimes. Uh, we don't want to insult them. Guarantee their independence. Uh, declare war, war off a trade deal. Form defensive pact. No, they're super not into that. We don't want to demand their vassalization. We definitely don't want to be their vassal. Could offer tribute. That will make them happier towards us, but I'd rather not be a tributary right now, that's for sure. Um, okay. We have 103 minerals right now, so we still have this planet that we can... No, we don't want... I keep on doing that. I try to move my fleet. No. Go back and orbit around Tholia. Thank you. Avalam. 
construction ship. Uh, build a mining station there. Thank you. Uh, where's their science ship right now? He's up here. Again, I'm going to continue kind of exploring up this way. I, I get the feeling that this area of space is kind of open. So if we're going to expand, it's, it's probably going to be up this way. I think. I hope, actually. Continue surveying. All right, so can we do anything on any of our planets right now? Uh, Tholi itself. Okay, so that guy's going to be working in a mine. Fargus Prime. We still would like to clear this tile. Food's at two right now. Uh, we could get ourselves some extra minerals. Uh, I'd rather clear this right now because I'm going to move this guy over here and then we can worry about building mines and stuff after. Uh, so I, again, that has made us broke. So yeah, uh, I am trying a little bit of a different thing by not automatically building buildings on some of these tiles. It's, uh, it's a different type of play. I'll see how it goes. It may be a big old disaster, but I'm willing to give anything a shot at this point. You know, you don't, uh, you won't learn anything unless you try new things. Uh, okay. Zero for food right here. Uh, we did clear this tile. Energy's okay right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this guy down here when he comes in. Food is going to be at uh, plus one at that point. So that will allow us to grow a little bit more. So we have 107 now. For minerals okay so we're not going to do anything here the rani prime uh i'd rather have the three minerals that are in this tile so let's clear this off food's at one right now so food will be at zero uh once this guy comes in so we're going to want to move him down to this tile uh on this planet uh, food is at zero and we do have the option of upgrading a hydroponics facility, so I think we have to do that. We're decadent, so that's not helping. But we're up to 45 minerals a month now, so we're, we're slowly snowballing. As long as no major disaster hits us, as you know, there's no super angry space whales or anything, I think we're going to be okay. We just, we just need to kind of creep along. You know, we're spiders. We, we creep along, we form our webs of deceit, and then suddenly, when you're not expected, expecting us, bam, we're going to strike. We're going to take it. Some cockroaches. It's going to be awesome. Um, there's some primitive species in this planet. Uh, this system? No. Wasn't there a primitive species in one of our systems? I could be wrong about that. I think it might have been one of the systems that I was eyeballing. Uh, this is in this system. Yeah, I was looking at colonizing this planet. Okay, so what's on the go with this planet? Um, few minerals, and that's it. That's not really impressive. Let's take a look at our, our expansion planner, actually. Um, this has six energy, four minerals. This has five minerals, one food. So let's sort by minerals. Three, so this has the most food. It has six and six. Polaris 2C, it's an awesome name. Unfortunately, that would put us smack over by the Cardassians. I don't think we want to go there. Debux 2A, it's a Class L rocky planet. Yo, Adrian! Uh, there's three minerals, seven engineering in this system. That is tempting. So what would it cost us to colonize here? Um... Uh, yeah, so we would put our colony ship right there. Colonize it so it's 30. Okay, so it's not much for... Plus there's five engineering here, and that would be a terrific help. Uh, so if we colonize... What do we need? We need 101 more minerals. Okay. Okay. All right, we can, we can possibly do this. 62 months for that. I'd love if some of our pops were decadent, though. That would be spectacular, scrumdiddlyumptious, whatever else I'd like to say about that. Spaceport, 
colony ship 245. So it's going to be a couple months before we can afford one. Uh, so let's make sure everything is going to be fine and dandy for our local populaces before we get too fancy here. Uh, this is producing just one energy. This is producing one and one. Why don't you move down there? That makes a lot more sense to me. You got three minerals down here. You're definitely going to want to mine. I would be happy to spend cash on a mine here. Uh, clear this. Surface. Food's at one right now. This He's going to be at zero once this guy pops in. Um... So we're going to need a little bit more food. What's the best thing to do at this point? We don't have the Frontier Clinic yet, do we? No. Do a slave processing facility. Uh, I think we have to do a hydroponics facility here, just so the planet continues to grow. You know, I'd rather have a bunch of uh, populated tiles that are pulling in a little bit of stuff than unpopulated tiles that aren't pulling in anything. There's two food here, so we do have a little bit for a while. This guy's coming in here. He's going to be pulling one mineral. I'd rather you pull in a mineral and a food, my friend. We'll upgrade you. We'll upgrade you. Uh, so we're creeping up to 50 minerals. And this guy's still coming in. Okay. All right. Again, we were start, starting to snowball a little bit, but it is taking a little bit of time. If we could pull, if I could get us pulling like a 120 minerals a month, that would be great. Clear that off. Construction ship has nothing to do right now. Uh, we can actually build ourselves. No, not the first fleet. Stop trying to move the first fleet, Dundee. They're fine where they are. They need some R and R after fighting the pirates for so long. Uh, yeah, we can build a mining station here. Okay. So that's going to get us an extra two minerals a month. Every little bit helps. It all adds up. Take care of the pennies and the nickels will help themselves or something like that. I don't know. But uh, we're definitely, again, we're, we're nickel and diamond ourselves into power right now. Uh, I mean, they're going to stay overwhelming until we can start pumping out ships. That's that's the reality of our situation right now. We have to accept it, but we have to accept that we can grow, we can expand, and we will be a force to be reckoned with, I'm sure. Cardassians, I mean, there's a whole ton of races over here. They've made some enemies. I'm hoping, like, I don't know, the Federation or something might weaken them at least. Um... We have an anomaly. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Hopefully it will bring us good things. We should be able to colonize that planet now. So let's take a look at the expansion planner again. Three, six, and six. It's a tiny planet. What about this planet? This is a class Y. It's got a, a few different things. It's more habitable to our guys. We can clear a bunch of tiles. You know what? I think we're going to drop ourselves down here. Colonize this. A little bit more expensive in terms of um, influence, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's actually... These are both demon class planets? That's great. So we can actually colonize both the planets in this system and... Uh, you know, that won't really go against our, our sector limit here, our directly controlled systems limit. Uh, just, let's just make sure all the planets have governors, because I have been known to uh, forget about that from time to time. And again, like, that's, that's just kind of stuff, you know, I'm trying to nickel and dime myself back into power now. You know, just like a 2% happiness bonus might be all the difference in terms of production. You never know. Okay. So let's run through our planets very quickly again. Food's at two here. Um, I think it's worth it for us to build a hydroponics farm to get kind of the food situation settled. Arani, this guy's going to be ready to go. Okay. Eight years ago, Chief Science Officer Zolstrin was stationed on Raza, one at this outpost. Those are very... Oh, it's Riker again. Um... 
Okay, so we'll we'll just go through the uh, the Riker thing. Uh, cannot risk his life. Have to do this. I'm coming with you. Perfect. And we have Zolstream too. So have they actually fixed the uh, the, the the developers mentioned this on me on uh, on Twitter? It's like uh, remind us to fix the Riker bug. So I don't think. Everybody that you get is supposed to be called Riker in this situation. Uh, so let's take a look at our leaders. Oh, no, he's still called Riker. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he's a young Riker, though. He's a young Riker. He's a, a baby-faced Riker. Uh, you know what's helping us out now? Our naval capacity. We're not losing 4% now because we've, we've reached our naval capacity. That's uh, so another thing that we have to do, too, is kind of get uh, spaceports up and running. Uh, so we're doing 48. So we're creeping up on 50 minerals a month. We're edging. We're getting closer. Um, why can't we upgrade that? We need a planetary administration. So we probably want to upgrade this. So we need 350 for that. All right. So let's actually save so we can upgrade the planetary administration. I, I kind of feel more like I'm playing Crusader Kings right now because, like, cash... In Crusader Kings, uh, it, it's kind of limited in, in what you can do. You know, you have to you have to be very very careful with your cash in Crusader Kings. It takes a long time to build up. Very, you can spend it very quickly, and that's that's kind of the situation that I'm finding myself in right now. Uh, so another month we should be able to upgrade this, and uh, that should start producing minerals, right? Yeah. So that's going to be another three minerals once we do that. That should also take care of our food situation. All right, so we'll start that. Um, okay, and they've already started construction. Good. Good. I'm, I'm feeling more and more confident. It doesn't look like the Cardassians have grown too large yet. Um, let's clear this. Uh, how's our... Okay, so we're build, still building our colony ship. It's going to take them a few more months. And uh, speaking of months... 91 months till we have a holographic doctor, 22 months for our border range, and 21 months for our photon torpedoes, which will help our fleet strength a little bit. Um, okay. 134 minerals right now. We still have an abundance of energy. I tell you what. I tell you what. Um... Okay, I just want to run through my planets again just to make sure that I'm not doing anything too silly. Can we upgrade this one? One, two, three, four. No, we got to wait till that guy comes in. And it's the Kappa Menace. Kappa Kappa. They're up here. Tolarians. Uh, okay, they're now a protectorate of the Bajorans. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, Cardassians didn't, uh, didn't get in there. Um... Okay. Yeah, I thought the uh, I thought they'd come in and maybe enslave those guys, but uh, I guess not. I guess not. So what's the other planet in this system? We're we're colonizing number two right now. What's what's on number three? Number three has a little bit of food, a little bit of energy. We can clear a whole bunch of tiles. We can clear this food tile. You know what? I think it's worth it if we uh, threw down a colony here as well. We might as well. Uh, oh, okay. No, we're actually colonizing that planet. So Linus 2 or whatever it's called. Um, it's a fairly large planet. Looks like there's lots of food. There's some energy. There's, there are some blocker tiles. All right. This has potential. I can work with this. So we'll throw you down there. Okay. Excellent. And again, that's not going to go towards our sector limit because uh, this is going to max us out, but we'll already have a colony on this planet. It's going to work out for us. And uh, our construction ship's going to have something to do as well. Did I not order the construction of another colony ship? What happened there? Colonize. Already has a planned colony. Why do I seem to have so many minerals all of a sudden? Am I just doing that awesome? Probably not. Um, oh, geez, I just realized that uh, we can build a mining station down here. So let's go do that. Uh, so we're doing 16. So we're going to hit up 
this system for the energy credits very, very soon. So Tholia Prime, again, I, I feel like I, I'm I'm doing a lot of micromanaging of my planets, and I'm kind of glad that I only have the five planet limit at this point, or five system limit, because uh, it can definitely get overwhelming once you get into like 10, 15 planets. Uh, so two food right here. So we have food, room to grow in terms of food. Uh, this is just a straight up mineral tile. Let's build a mine here. This is straight up mineral tile. Let's build a mine here. Okay, so Fargus. Fargus is going to be good for a while. Uh, just want to make sure that we've upgraded planetary administrations on all these. I think we've, for the most part, we've had. Uh, so they've been upgraded. Food's at one. Whoops. Surface. Uh, food is at one. Okay, he's going to come in here. He's going to pick some more apples for us. Uh, this planet should be fine for food once this tile gets upgraded. Ejok. Food's at three right now, so they're fine. Uh, we're starting to go through, starting to burn through our energy now. So we can start to concentrate on this. New Era, working tirelessly on Thalia Prime's orbital space act and quiet revolution and warship design has taken place for nearly five years. The scientist Seth Streen of the Naval Design Academy has led a team of experts in the field of warp theory and metallurgy, all striving to provide Tholia Prime with a new generation. Oh, it's the next generation of vessels fit to defend the Tholian Assembly's interest across the, across, across the quadrant. I suddenly turned into Elmer Fudd. So we should, um, let's see if we have access to new ship designs here. Corvette. So we can do a bird of prey. So what do we have? For, we have bird of prey in secondary hall right now. So if we do this now, it's one and four. So is there any difference to the Corvette? One and four, and the secondary hall is two. So Corvette, secondary hall is two. Not really. Hall points is 750. Hall points is 892 because we have a modification. Okay, never mind. What about for our destroyers? We have advanced support destroyers. I think, I think we're kind of good for ship designs right now, actually. Uh, so we won't. Yeah, uh, minerals. It's it's not taking us that long to build up now. So things again, things are starting to snowball. I, I'm loving this. Uh, planetary summary. Uh, Ejac. Okay, so they are still colonizing here. Spaceport. Should we start building spaceports? Maybe. Maybe. Three food here. Long range span of planet. A span of planet. Apparently I've forgotten how to speak at this point. Okay, so we'll build an, a, a power plant there. Um, okay, so we're good for food here for a while. We can upgrade our mine there. We can upgrade our power plant here. And so we have two food. It's going to be one, zero. There's no point in clearing that tile right now unless we can get another hydroponics upgrade. Fargus second this. Um, okay, one, you're doing the food thing. You are a pure energy tile. We'll build a power plant there. Fargus Prime. Uh, we're upgrading some mines. Okay. And Tholia Prime. We can upgrade our society research. Why not? And we have another society research building here. Let's get that rolling. Let's... Uh, no, we don't want to build a hydroponics farm. Basic bio lab there. And Tholia Prime is, at this point, maxed out in terms of tiles. It's great. It's great. We have, like, a building in every tile. We have a chicken in every pot. Um, and we have our colony ships working away. Of course, that's going to... Two colony ships. Okay, so construction ship, you're down here building. We'll get you up here building mining stations as well. Doing 57 minerals a month. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, look at that. Cardassians have been reduced to superior. We're catching up. We're catching up. Now that we're not faced with the pirate menace, we have a chance. I, I'm saying, I'm declaring that there is a chance at this point. Fargus Prime. Um, okay, I just, just want to make sure that everything is cool here. It's going in there. I guess second this. You're good. Irani. 
Uh, let's do some physics research. We need to get research rolling now that uh, we have an industrial base. And uh, we've we got to start building power plants again because we're starting to, we'll soon be in the negative if, that, uh, if we don't get on that. Uh, your, one, two, three, four. You're going to have five pops, so we'll be able to upgrade this after this guy comes in. Ejock. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'm fairly happy right now. I, I was super salty about how things were going with the pirates. But uh, I'm I'm okay right now. I, I'm I feel fantastic. Everything is awesome. Clear this. Uh, okay. I think we have to start looking at spaceports. We can actually upgrade this spaceport for larger ships. Let's do that. That's going to increase our fleet capacity. We can build a secondary spaceport if we wait a month. I think we will do that. Because we got to get uh, we got to get our fleets rolling. We are a slaver race. There's no doubt about it. You know we can do all the genetic mon uh, modifications and stuff we want, but we are inherently a race of slavers. So we got to get on that. There are a few primitives out there that we have to uh, take care of. So 367 spaceport. Get the building. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to wrap things up there for now. Might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I, I'm I'm in a nice positive mood, so I feel like this is a good endpoint. If you like what you saw here today, think about liking the video, think about subscribing to the channel. We will see you next time. Have a terrific day.